I am in Namibia, a country famous for its wildlife. Key to the high species diversity here are the many different habitats. From the famous Etosha pan that has everything from lions to lilac breasted rollers to giraffes and cori bustards. To the vast deserts where every drop of water is precious. And the long coastline where tens of thousands of lesser and greater flamingos live. On a good trip to Namibia, you might see well over 400 species of birds. But I want to take you on a quest to see some of the less conspicuous ones. This here is the Waterberg Plateau, home of the unique rock runner, which I would like to see. I got up very early before sunrise to make it here in the morning light, but unfortunately the information and closed gates failed me a little bit, so now the morning is gone. But now I'd like to get up there, which will probably happen in the heat of the day. It's the rainy season here in Namibia and it has rained a lot in the last weeks and months. So a lot of the regions in the country are exceptionally green and that's no different here in Waterberg. On the way to the top, two huge raptors caught my eye. A pair of Verauxis eagles, if that's how you pronounce them, has their territory here in this stretch of the Waterberg and they're circling right here in the blue sky. Impressive. They're carrying nesting material. So they're building their nest right now. Right now, their massive talons are busy carrying sticks, but soon they'll be put to a different use again, to catch a rock hyrax. My target, the rock runner, is not uncommon among these boulders, but it's easily overlooked. The best way to find it is to listen for its liquid song. There is a rock runner singing. The rock runner stays very elusive. I hear him every once in a while, but I just got a few glimpses. The next stop is the beautiful Irongo region. After one night of camping, a stunning scenery awaits me full of birds that I've never seen before. It's a wonderful thing to get to see an ecosystem for the very first time. It feels like day one of your birding life, when everything you find is new to you. It's a beautiful morning in the desert, and I want to show you the bird that kept me awake all night. The violet-backed starlings are not guilty. There was this short song, this short note, dee 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 and it kept going. And I feel I heard this all night when I woke up every once in a while, and it continued into the morning. And I wondered, at night I thought it was a night jar, and then later I thought it could be because the sun is the sun is up now and it's still going. And now I know what it is. It's a lark. So it's singing in this bush right ahead. The monotonous lark is a widespread species across large parts of southern Africa. In wet years like this, they start to breed in places where they are lacking in dry times. Namibia hosts many different lark species. Here lives the one that every bird wants to see. In these red sand dunes in the Namib desert, which are now exceptionally green, lives the only endemic of Namibia, the only bird species that only occurs here in this country, the dune lark. 
I didn't bring my tripod, so only just some very shaky dune luck footage for you. Sorry. Every once in a while you stumble upon a tree in the desert that is covered by a gigantic nest. And in fact, those are many nests, a communal nest, but a sociable weaver. A neat little bird on its own, but I'm even more interested in who they're sharing their nest with. The mega cities of the sociable weaver are said to be the largest bird nests in the world. One such colony can hold up to 500 breeding chambers. But not all of them are occupied by the birds who built them. Africa's smallest falcon also frequently moves into one of them. Even though the pygmy falcon is slightly larger than the weavers, it rarely feeds on them. Instead, it prefers large insects, small reptiles and mammals. I have seen a lot of amazing things in Namibia, but of course, far from everything, I think chances are quite good that I'll return one day. 